Hey, it's Jesus from Lowcode, and today I wanted to show you this pretty cool app called Duelos. So what it, this app does is it helps you keep track of all of your bills and assets that you might have at your home or at multiple homes, right? So, and there, there are a bunch of pretty exciting and complicated stuff on the back end going on. So I'll show you pretty quickly how this works. The first thing that we have is um, simple login, and then you can add your home with some basic information. We even have um, a pre-populating, like a suggestion thingy here that is pretty unique and which is not a default setting in Glide, which is the thing that we use to make uh, this app, a you know, platform called Glide Apps. So I can select my property time, how many bedrooms I have. Um, I can choose an image if I have one. And then the usage, the ownership, um, the municipality, the property tax. I'll jump through a bunch of these things. Um, I can click next, sorry, next, next, next. Uh, my roofing, my facade, my connections, providers. Uh, I mean, pretty large setup here. My evaluation, I can upload files for a property. And then I end up here in my home screen. So as you can see, this is a this is not a traditional looking app where we have a tab at the bottom with expenses and assets. We have everything on, on this single screen, right? We have on the fly menu, we have our bills and wish list, but pretty much everything is going on here. So the way it works, pretty straightforward. The call to action, the main thing that users do is log into the app and then click the button add a bill. And then I choose my category, let's say internet, and then my date, my amount. I can upload an image or a file or add comments and then I click submit, right? So we're tallying up, we're doing a roll up, we're aggregating all of the bills here for this month, right? So I'll add a few additional ones um, and then I'll come back. So I've added a few bills here and you can see that my monthly expenses for this month is uh, 2,800, right? So if I go to my expenses screen, I can filter by month. So let's say June. Um, and then you can see the breakdown here, my mortgage, my insurance, my electricity, or we can filter by category. Let's say um, internet. And then of course I'm not filtering here. All or not actually. So I just have internet this month, but let's say I think electricity, I might have um, a breakdown. So in here we have these historical, historical breakdown in the chart for how much I spent on electricity. And I can, I have my breakdown here. And then if I added um, an image or a file, I could be able to see here those details. Now I can just click a button to like the category, upload a file, an image and add comments. Now, pretty cool, extremely cool feature I would say um, is that you can forward your bills from your inbox to bills at mydwellers.com. And then as long as you are using the same email that you used to log in, then we take that either image or PDF, pass it through an OCR uh, platform, an OCR is a platform that converts text in an image or in a PDF to actual text. And then we figure out through a neuro processing language module uh, where we figure out what type of category that bill is. So we can figure out if it's electricity or if it's uh, water or internet, whatever. And then we can categorize that uh, expense, that bill in the right category. So anyway, you would end up here. If you go to your bills section, you would see uh, an unclaimed bill if you send that through email because we might categorize it, but the platform might categorize it wrong. So maybe we think where the platform thinks it's related to insurance, but it's not. So the user would be able to come in and change the category. Then it's something extremely powerful because the only thing you have to do from your email is forward your bills to the MyDuelos email, to the bills at MyDuelos.com, and that's it. We'll take those bills, convert them to text, figure out the amount, and add them over here to your bill section. Then you just uh, categorize the bill to the right category. Um, so we have our full breakdown here for all our expenses. We have a list of assets as well. So I already added my first, which is my uh, washing machine, right? And then, but you can do that 
by clicking the plus button here and then selecting the manufacturer, the model, image, category. And then you can also keep track of your warranty, where do you purchase it from, the date, the amount, invoice, of the image. Um, so you have a list of all of your appliances. Um, and then for each appliance, you might want to add tasks and reminders. So by clicking this button, I would say uh, general maintenance. And then I would select the date. So let's say we'll do another one in 15 days. Um, Let's submit. And then we have a couple tasks here. So on July 13, I can add these events, these tasks to my calendar, to my iCal, my Google Calendar, or uh, in order to get a notification through my calendar, or I can just click this button and mark it as completed. And then I can keep track of all my tasks. So we as well have a list of tasks here, pending and completed tasks. And again, you can create a new task and relate it to, a, to an asset, right? We also have a list of contacts, um, so you can just add name and details and, and phone number, email, whatever, and then relate them to a property because the property that I have in Miami uh, might have a different plumber than the property that I have in Jacksonville, right? So it's a centralized place to keep track of all of your property details. Now, people might have, you might have more than one property and you want to keep track of your expenses and assets and tasks and, and uh, contacts for each of your properties. So in here, as a freemium app, you can here upgrade to add a second property. So we already preload your name and email. So you would just add your credit card information for $5 a month. If I do so, then I'll be able to add a second property. And then we have two different, completely different and unrelated settings and, and flows. Uh, both screens look the same way, but then you can toggle in here at the top, you'll be able to toggle between the two properties and keep track of your expenses and assets, tasks and contacts. So it's a pretty unique app. You can check it out on duelos.app. Um, pretty unique, very clean interface. There are a lot of backend stuff going on, emailing your bills, converting them to text, categorizing them, welcome emails. So great app. If you're looking to get something custom made at a fraction of the time of cost and cost of traditional development, get in touch with us at loco.agency. We might be able to help. Anyway, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.